Hey y'all, welcome back to the trailer park. Today's video, we're gonna do a follow up on my huge butt series where I went through my entire house, one end to the other. We got a 16 by 80 single wide. I went from one end to the other and I cleaned my booty off. I decluttered my booty off. JK is still kind of there. And I organized the best that I could on a budget. But it's been about two weeks since I finished filming that series, so this is gonna be a two week update. I'm going to probably be doing a three month update and a six month update two, maybe even a year update because this that series literally changed my life. This home tour is not going to be like my normal mobile home tours or farmhouse mobile home tours or anything like that. This one's not staged at all. This one is not prepared. I'm not prepared at all. I literally picked up the camera on a random day and was like, I'm going to do it today because I wanted you guys to see what my house looks like unfiltered, untouched up, not tidied, nothing. I wanted it to be like you were just coming over and you were a friend, you were just coming over and I was letting you in and you were hanging out with me. That being said, my house is obviously not going to be the tidiest house in the world, just prefacing this. And that's the point of this video. It's just a normal house. It's what my house happens to look like on a daily basis here as of lately. But that's not to say that I'm not absolutely ecstatic over the state of my home right now because I am. I'm a messy person by nature. I struggled with keeping it tidy long before this series. And I'm not saying this series is a one and done thing. I have had to work, my family has had to work to maintain the areas. Even though it's been two weeks, it's felt like a lifetime because I'm not used to maintaining an area. I'm used to not touching that area until the area gets so unbelievably messy that I have no choice but to touch it. So going in and cleaning stuff that isn't necessarily dirty has been a learning curve for me. But I've learned that if it's dirty, I'm not doing my job. I'm not always gonna be cleaning something that's really dirty. I'm gonna maintain clean, and that's where I'm cleaning something that just needs tidied up, or I just need to do a little wipe down here. And that used to feel like it didn't make sense to me, but it makes sense to me now. If I'm cleaning already dirty areas, then I'm not maintaining the house like I want to. So I'm having to rewire my brain and tell myself it's a good thing that my house is not that messy, and then I'm cleaning it anyway. I have it in a complete playlist from the first video to the last, from one end of the trailer to the other and I would encourage you if you're even thinking about getting on a journey like that if you're thinking about decluttering your house if you're thinking about getting that daggone thing done I would encourage you to watch that I don't ever brag on videos I do because I don't do videos uh, I, I'm not one of those people who edit really good I'm just I'm a simple youtuber I'm not technological savvy technologically savvy. I can't even say it. I'm not technologically savvy I want to say Slovakia for some reason. I'm not I'm not technical like at all. So I can't brag on my editing skills or anything. But that those videos in that playlist really focused on my issues and my fault in homemaking. And I made some really big strides to fix those issues in that series and I'm super proud of that. The way I'll be doing this video is I will be placing a picture of what the area looked like before I started that series and then showing you guys the after. So for example, I'll show you guys what the living room looked like before I started the series and I'll show you what it looks like now. I'll just be walking through my house and pointing out areas where I've seen improvement and areas where I've noticed I've still been struggling with those areas. I'm sure I'll also be talking about some future updates too because we're not even done with the living room makeover. We've been doing that in parts and I still have the whole left side to finish. We have big plans coming up. We have big DIYs, big makeovers in thought. So I'll, I'm sure I'll be talking about those a little bit throughout this video, but this video isn't necessarily centered on that. It's centered on the fact of the before and after because I want you guys to see what my house really looks like right now in case you struggle or you're just curious, in case you struggle like me and, and you're not so sure that a seven episode series can change your life or a seven episode cleaning spree can change your life, a three week cleaning spree can change your life, in case you're like me and you're really skeptical about it, I wanna show you what that series did for me, the parts that stuck and the parts that did not, so you can make an educated decision based on my experience on if you want to do something like that or not or maybe it's not going to work out for you and you want better results you can find something that would give you better results something like that is that making sense so i'm sure i will be talking about the home updates in this video somewhere as i go throughout the house but this video is solely about the progress that i have seen and the stumbling blocks i've encountered since doing it, that big declutter session in my home. It is in the smack dab middle of the evening and my kids are off doing their thing. Shane's around here somewhere, so you guys will be seeing real life. They're in there playing, their stuff out. We've been doing stuff. It's not like we're all about to go to bed and I've tidied up the house at the end of the evening. It's the smack dab middle of the evening, one of the busiest parts of our days. So you'll really get firsthand at what this house looks like on the average, on the daily, during one of the busiest parts of the day. I'm gonna start with the main living area first, the kitchen, the living room, 
the dining room and the hallway and then we'll make our way throughout the rest of the house some of these areas i'm showing you in my house they don't have before pictures because the before wasn't necessarily bad i just need to do a lot of deep cleaning but a lot of the areas in my home do have before pictures and those before pictures are wild but they just show how amazing this transformation actually is so first off the living room has been kept pretty tidy for the most part tidier than probably my living room has ever been kept like you can see this big old <laughs> i don't even know where shane got this cord for his phone <laughs> but we've been charging our phones in here because we've been in here chilling and so <laughs> we've got big old long cords i have my phone hooked up to this for right now because i was needing it to reach the couch <laughs> So I have it hooked up to like this extension cord or whatever. The floors have not been swept. So we got dog hair in here. It is what you would see if you just walked in here and was like, hey, Rena, what's up? The progress areas in this room are obviously that. I always count that uh, bar right there as part of the living room because it's kind of like the divider between the living room and the kitchen. That's been kept clear, completely clear. And that is a new thing because that used to be crowded up. It used to be one of our hot spots or um, a spot that is very very heavily cluttered all of the time everything everything gets put up there usually that hasn't been the case lately though it's stayed clear and that alone makes the living room look 10 times cleaner whenever surfaces like that and the table are clear your living room automatically looks cleaner so that's what's been working out for us that's been a pro some progress I've noticed is we don't have a lot of pillows and blankets on the couch anymore and while it does look bare at least that does help in the sense of not having pillows in the blanket migrate to the floor all the time so you're walking in here and we've got like blankets everywhere and pillows everywhere that hasn't been the case because we really don't have any pillows and blankets and the ones that i did have banks claimed them so they're over there chilling <laughs> right now <laughs> which also makes that a good thing as to why we don't have a bunch of blankets and pillows because banks can only claim so much and i can only clean them so fast <laughs> so having minimal pillows and blankets and stuff like that has really helped me not feel like i'm cleaning pillows every single day of my life because his wrap has slid down or something like that this usually would be cluttered up with toys that the kids bring in here to play with and then they just never took them back to its original home and as of recently we've been keeping it clean i've actually made a rule of no toys in the living room you can bring toys in here like if you want to show me something but as far as like playing in the floor in here or on the couch with a bunch of toys we don't do that anymore because they have room in their rooms for that there are exceptions though like if they want to play with me and we're playing as a family here on the ottoman i mean obviously that's an exception and i'm there and i can make sure that they take their toys directly back to their room but as far as just them coming in here randomly and sitting down on the floor with the big old play set and like all these little <laughs> um lols and pet house or pet shops or whatever they call them as far as that stuff we don't do that anymore power rangers nothing like that can you tell someone's bored <laughs> it's really bored <laughs> just came from the attic <laughs> you just came from it's the attic <laughs> the more progress i've noticed is the floor has been kept clear but starting with the first con is it has not been kept swept you can see here you can't tell just whenever you would walk in here, but if you stared long enough, you would see there is a lot of stuff on the floor. It hasn't been swept in a few days, and this is what can accumulate in a few days at this house. There's also, you know, like I said, it's not going to be perfect. I have no idea what this is. I hope it's not a booger rag, but I mean, stuff like that you're going to find in the house. Here's another area where things have not been swept really good. So sweeping needs to be a priority for me. Oh, and in case you saw it, <laughs> this is not a turd. I, I looked at it for a minute and like my heart met my butt because I was like, oh my gosh, what in the world? It's not a turd. It's a banana treat that the dogs get from Sam's Club. Well, I get for the dogs from Sam's Club. The dogs don't go to Sam's Club. <laughs> I just threw it back down on the couch. Okay, see, there's, there's a lot of the problem. <laughs> no, but so an area I need to work on. Is there a sock over there too? Okay, there's a sock over there too. Yeah, that is not Shane. Shane isn't just taking his socks off on the couch like Tater. I, I don't take my socks off. No, Shane keeps his socks on. He always has socks on. And shoes. So uh -huh. we've been talking area about. Where I, I need to progress. Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna turn that around. <laughs> I've begged him to not wear his shoes in the house. I, well, to be fair, I had them on because I just went outside just a second ago. It's raining outside. Oh, did it count as washing them? Yeah. 
Okay. So the biggest area that I struggle with in the living room still is the floors. So keeping them swept and mopped, I need to prioritize that more frequently. And I think implementing that fly lady routine into my life is going to help in that department because she does make sure that you get to the little things like that. There is a checklist that you do to make sure that you don't forget sweeping and mopping your floors. A lot of times I don't forget it, if I'm being honest. It's just a big task for me and I, I dread it. I dread sweeping them off my floors. So I usually just put it back in the back of my mind. But obviously, as you see here, that is really the biggest downfall. The only downfall here in the living room is the floor. So that makes me feel better and that makes me feel motivated to tackle that so that I can get that under control like I have everything else too. So same thing in the dining room area. This, this whole area I consider my dining room because it's where we do most of our eating when the table's clear, which it has been recently. But this area is the same as in the living room. I still do, I struggle with keeping the floors clean. You wouldn't notice right off the bat, but if you get down here and you look really, really good, you'll see that the floors are not clean at all. They haven't been swept or mopped. That being said, this is the cleanest my dining room has ever looked for a prolonged period of time. The treadmill is an eyesore in here and I had every intention on putting it up whenever I got done with it, but I use it and if I put it up, it is a pain in the butt to get back out. So I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with that yet. I don't like it there. It does make me feel like that area is cluttered, but it's not dirty cluttered and it's not stuff cluttered. It's just, I'm limited on space here in the single wide and I don't have time to go to the gym, so I got that, and that's been a such a help for me. My treadmill time is my audiobook time, and I really enjoy that time, so I use it all the time. I just don't put it away when I'm done with it because it is heavy, and I really have nowhere to, else to store it. So that is something I do need to think about. It does make the area look cluttered, but at least it's not dirty. I'm okay with that. The counter on this side has stayed pretty clear other than these things that cause me to have an asthma attack that I will not ever plug back in my walls. It's these, um, I don't have asthma and it was, it was bad. It's like Glade, I think. I had one in my living room and one in my bedroom and I straight up had an asthma attack. So I had had Shane unplug those because we were, we were trying to figure out what in the world was triggering it because I've never had breathing problems before. I did that bleach fiasco with my hair. And after I did that bleach fiasco, this irritated the heck out of my lungs because I already wasn't breathing well as it was. So that's why that's there. We, we just unplugged it from the wall. This is mine. That's what I work from. So that's there because I'm always working throughout the day. This is Cammy's drink. And Cammy has been over here. He was here before I started the camera. I'm not quite sure where he is now. <laughs> but here's his drink. He's actually still drinking it. And then his tablet stays over here because he likes this area of the house for some reason. He always plugs it up here and he always plays right here for some reason. He has access to the whole entire house and he picks this little area. If that tablet's not in his hands, you will usually find it here on charge. He specifically puts it in this area. It's routine for him. He does that every day of his life. The vacuum is out and the vacuum is not cleaned out. So that's a struggle, obviously. That's an area where I need to improve. I need to empty out my vacuum when I'm done with it. But I also need to put it away. I think the problem is I don't really have a place to put it other than this back area right here. And it's kind of an eyesore either way, like you see it either way. So whenever I get my outdoor shed, I can put all of my Christmas decor that's in that back corner in my bathroom and I can change that into a linen closet and it can hold stuff like my vacuum, my broom, mops, stuff like that, that I don't really have a home for out here in the open because my house is such like an open concept kind of trailer. Water bowls and dog food things are crooked. <laughs> But they're filled up and they're not making a mess. So unless I do it right now. So that's good. The table is not cluttered up. But it does have things on it sitting here that I'm going to be working on later. So I'm still not done organizing my house. I'm doing it slowly so I can afford to do it. And not break the bank to get my house organized. Because that defeats the purpose. Then I can't buy anything to organize. So I've got this thing that I'm going to use to organize. I got it at Ollie's. I've got some of these magic bags. 
that I'm going to use up. I'm still not done with those. And then these containers are also for organizing too. So here in an upcoming video, you guys will probably see me messing around with that. But the rest of the table is clear, which makes me really happy because my table is the biggest hot spot in the entire house. There's something always usually on it. The kiddos have been taking their plates and their dishes to the sink, rinsing them off. And if they haven't been putting them straight in the dishwasher from there, they've at least been rinsing them off and leaving them in the sink for me to put in the dishwasher. So that's a win. I consider that a win. We're still struggling with the floors over here though. Like I said, you can't tell on camera, but I don't want to hide anything from you guys. They're not in the best of shape at all. This table's not in the best of shape either though. I can't wait to do something with this. That's an upcoming DIY that I'm going to be doing. It's completely transforming that table. I have an idea. I've sketched it out. I've had Shane sketch it out. I just need to find time to do that. Over here, this is where we keep the drinks, which isn't ideal, but Shane keeps them here for some reason. And then, oh, somebody had got into the truck. <laughs> So I think that somebody was me actually. <laughs> Not to eat, obviously, but like to get to the top. But um, this area could look a little more tidy, but I just have a whole lot of like wraps for banks because I buy them in bulk off of Amazon. And this is the dog's big old basket. So it could look way better, but it does house everything for the dogs so I mean at least it, this stuff has a home and it's not laying on the table or somewhere else where it doesn't belong. A bunch of you guys always ask me what Binks uses. He used to use these. They're disposable wraps. I think you get these at Walmart. He doesn't use these anymore. These are just extra that I had. They weren't really doing a good job. These are where it's at. He's been using these recently because his wrap kept falling down and they work so good. They're by Wicked Pup. Their booster pads. Binks has the regular size and these come in a hundred packs. I put these inside of one of his. This is the kind that I've been putting them in with. It's called Pet Parents. These are my most favorite wraps he's ever used. Before he used these camo ones. I can't remember what these are called and they're good. They're all right. But these are where it's at. These paired with this has limited the accidents and the leaking almost 100%. It's really, really good. So, Holly would recommend these pet parent wraps. You just wrap them. And what you do with these is they're literally like Kotex. You just take the sticky back off and then put it in the wrap like that. And then you change it every couple of hours. I would absolutely recommend these over the Walmart brand and these over those camo ones completely. So like I said, it's not it's not pretty to look at, but it is all organized and it is all in one spot. So that's what I'm more so concerned about. Got their treats here and got their food here. The open pantry has been staying organized down here. That's where I've been keeping all of my big kitchen stuff that I can't fit underneath the cabinets or anything like that. My potatoes, these potatoes should be in my potato thing. It's been staying pretty tidy and organized. We're, we haven't been getting a lot of cereal, so those have been kind of empty. I need to probably clean those out. And I need to clean out these two because our snacks we've kind of been through. And I haven't replaced these. So it could be restocked. But other than that, it's looking good. As far as the laundry room goes, my laundry room has been pretty much the same other than the top of the dryer. So progress wise, I have been keeping my laundry under control. It's never overflowing anymore. It's always sorted in here. And even the things themselves, while they do stay full, they're not overflowing. So I usually have three loads to do, but they're not overflowing loads. So I rotate them out and I rotate it, but I do a load every day to make sure that that stays under control. And it's been working well for me. I do keep my things over here, which is like I was telling you, usually my vacuum's over here too, but it's an eyesore anywhere it's at. It's just where I put it for right now. We don't use this back door hardly, so it works over here for right now. These hampers are just extra hampers. I would love to get my laundry down to one load where I've just got one load to do. And if I ever do do that, then I'm going to use this kind of hamper so that it just it's clean, it's white, it looks nice right there. And I'll free up this space if I can ever get there. I don't know that I can, but if I can, that's what I want to do. That's been staying like it was in the video up there. The only struggle area I have in here is keeping this cleaned off. That's a big struggle for me. And I know it's not good for the dryer to be crowded up anyway. So I really want to get to the point where that is clear all the time. But it's not right now. The floors also need some help like the rest of the floors in my house. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with the way it's it's been kept. Used to, there would be laundry overflowing into the floor. The floor would have crumbs everywhere, more than there are now. It just, it was an eyesore. I hated people seeing my laundry room. 
Now, even though there is stuff on the dryer, I'm not embarrassed of it. In my kitchen, my fridge has not been staying organized. I organized it really good at one point. It's not bad as it usually is, but it's definitely not like it was when I organized it in the beginning. So that's kind of sad, but I'm not gonna stop trying to keep it organized. Places that really matter though, like the cabinets, have stayed organized. This is what my cabinets look like all the time now. So if I have somebody over and they wanna grab a cup, I don't have to worry about them getting knocked out by something that was sitting up there that was about to fall out. <laughs> Ain't no lawsuits over here now. <laughs> so that's a good thing. Like I said, I would love to do, have my fridge that way and stay that way. I hope I can get to it. I hope I can. I hope I can get to the point where my fridge stays organized like this cabinet has. But if the cabinet alone is success for me. Like my cabinet used to look terrible in here. I didn't know where half the stuff that I had was. Now I know where everything's at and it's neatly put in here. Same goes for this cabinet down here. A lot of you guys in the last video were commenting on how well it looked. This is what it looks like all the time. I use these pretty often. I'm trying to learn to cook on stainless steel and it's a little bit hard. I don't want to mess them up. So I'm going in between my stoneware up here that I love that I got from TJ Maxx and this kind and I'm slowly learning how to cook on those. Keep my air fryer down here, my big old dugger as I call it, mixing bowl. Um, I got that for times that I cook in bulk and when I do my dog food in bulk and my mixer, stuff like that that won't fit anywhere else is down here and it stayed really, really organized. Spice cabinet as well while everything isn't where it was when I organized it when y'all saw it. It still stayed pretty relatively organized. My drawers, pretty much the same. I do struggle with an area to keep these knobs. And I usually try to make sure they're on each side when I load it, unload it from the dishwasher. It doesn't always stay that way. I just try to have it stay that way. So this is probably the drawer that I struggle with the most as far as keeping it as organized as I had it. This one stays organized completely organized. This one stays organized, completely organized. And this one still stays pretty organized. I don't know what that's doing there, but it stays pretty organized. <laughs> this up here stays organized as well, which I'm really happy about because the pantry is an area where I struggle. It's kind of out of sight, out of mind. So when I can keep something that I don't see every five minutes pretty tidy, that's a, that's a win for me. The counters, for the most part, have been kept clean as well. Um, there are things on here that, I mean, shouldn't be. This right here, I don't know why it's not folded up neatly. Don't really know what to do with this because I did have my sugar in there, but I transferred it into another container. Got some extra paper towels here, which I usually keep somewhere else. I usually keep my paper towels over here, so I don't know why I have two out here, but... We do. Also, I forgot to show you guys this cabinet. It's pretty clean and tidied and organized like it was too. But this is real life. I mean, you're not going to walk in somebody's house. I mean, not in my my neighborhood anyway. And they not have nothing that's not gonna supposed to belong on their counters. I feel like that's real life, having things that don't belong on your counters. As long as it's not overboard, like my house used to be. Like uh, this, I'm not mad about. I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way my counters have been staying. I'm pretty happy with the way my sink has been staying. It's not always clear, but I just did dishes a little bit ago. So it's not always like this. I don't want anybody to get it twisted, but it does stay clear far more than it used to. Areas that I struggle with in here are the floors like the rest of the house and keeping my appliances wiped down. You can pretty much see here, my fridge doesn't stay wiped down. It's got like that water spottage and smudges and stuff everywhere. Same with my stove. It could be a lot cleaner while it's definitely not dirty it could be a lot cleaner I, it could be wiped out more and then my dishwasher kind of needs to be wiped down too so that is an area where i need to make some progress keeping the floors swept and mopped and keeping my appliances wiped down frequently my hallway i'm not so happy with <laughs> i've got this big ladder here and it's been out here for a while it's kind of just rotated around my house you know migrated it's not supposed to go there as well as the carpet cleaner is not supposed to go there and that mop bucket's not supposed to go there and this sweeper is not supposed to go there so this is a area where i'm not doing so hot keeping up on does it look nasty it could look worse i mean it's not nasty but it does house things that don't belong here so i don't like that 
Also, as with the rest of the house, the floors, they need swept and mopped. So this one is definitely an area I need to really work on. It's just hard whenever my life is revolved so much around doing DIYs and stuff that this is almost always out. It always needs to be out. We haven't been doing as much DIY, so it doesn't really need to be out right now. I just don't have anywhere else to put it unless I want to crowd up my closet with it. This needs to be over there with the broom though. This is, this goes to our house alarm system. Um, this back here needs to be with the broom. Here's an area you can see in the floor. There's also a hanger right here. So yeah, this area hasn't been kept up that well. The hallway is definitely an area I need to work on and I need to be better at, as well as my family too. We need to work on it as a whole because this side of the house, I don't really come on this side of the house very often. This side of the house is kind of ran by the kiddos. So we need to work as a unit to keep this looking better. But as far as this and those things over there, that those are my things. They need to be where they're supposed to be. Can I get me in? Yeah. The girls' room. They've been making their beds every single day, ain't you? Mm -hmm. You've been doing good about that. So they've got some of their stuffed animals out here. I think they were, were you guys having a tea party or something? What were you doing? Well, you know, oh, okay. So they set them up that way. They were wanting them to watch them play. <laughs> so this usually is back in there. They have all their squishmallows that don't stay on their bed back in there, but they had them out watching them play. They do have a lot of squishmallows. And at night time, they have to take those off their bed. So they have room to sleep on their bed. So at night time, there's usually squishmallows everywhere. But they do a really good job of in the morning after they get dressed. And then they make their bed and they set all their squishmallows up there to look really nice. So I'm happy about that. That's good. This stuff up here hasn't changed. They haven't crowded it up with anything. They still got their precious moments, bibles there. Stuff like that. Over here, they've... <laughs> decorated <laughs> the way they want to decorate and I'm not gonna get mad at that it's not a mess it's not messy um and I'm not gonna get mad at that that's how they want to decorate it's their space as long as they are taking care of it like they need to and they're keeping these organized which they are I come in here periodically every few days and check these to make sure they're not out of control and they are doing amazing with those so as long as they're not stuff like this this stuff like this needs to be put up where it's supposed to go okay but I mean, as far as like their Fitbits and stuff, like, I'm not mad about stuff like that. I'm not, I'm not mad about anything at all. I just, the lip glosses and stuff, if they don't stay on those, then they can get out of control and get gross and make other things gross. Here, look, at, look at my fingernails in here. This area is pretty good. The areas where I've seen some progress are their beds. Their beds are made now and their stuffed animals are put up on there. They keep this area pretty, pretty tidy. And they keep those very, very tidy. I'm very proud of them when it comes to keeping those tidy. Everything is in its home. And nothing is out of place. And they know where everything is. They need to be making sure that these floors are vacuumed every few days. Because you can't see it unless I show you. But their floors. Remember how I told you guys in that video I did their room in? That we struggle with. And not just them. But I struggle with detail as well. This stuff like this needs to be vacuumed up. But if it's just the worst thing I'd be worried about in here, I'm not worried about it. Obviously, I want to fix it and change it, but it's not a big deal in the big scheme of things. And as long as we make it a priority, I'm pretty confident we can, we can control that. Their closet is very impressive to me and there are not random hangers every which way um there are some clothes that are falling off the hangers but there's not like hangers up and down and it looks all messy they've not been leaving hangers up here when they go to pick out a shirt they've been taking the whole hanger and putting it in the laundry room like i asked them to we haven't really touched the game since you guys have last seen those so i can't really take credit or they can't take credit for any of that that's pretty much stayed how it was since i did their closet and then over here they have been putting most of their backpacks back up here but they are also keeping ones that they use a lot they just took that to nana's so they are keeping one you know out here but they can't reach them if they're up there so i'm okay with that as long as we don't have all the backpacks all over the room i'm okay with that they have been playing in this like their little apartment area for their dolls and they've been keeping it tidy 
floors. <laughs> you guys, the common denominator throughout this video is going to be the floors need work. <laughs> so just remember that when you're seeing the floors. But like stuff like this, there's a hanger. It's real life. We live here, y'all. This is not a TV show. This ain't a set. It's not going to be perfect, but I'm so happy with the progress we have seen so far. Good job, girl. Good job. Can I come in? Yeah. Come in. Wait, can I come in? <laughs> okay. I don't know if this is... Uh, boot camp worthy but it's made so I'm happy about that their area up here they've been keeping clean um their drawers can they could use some help <laughs> but this area up here doesn't have stuff all over it. it's just their video games and stuff their beds that one has a reason it's not made and I'm not I don't expect that one to be made all the time I interrupted Cammy. he was in here looking through his books whenever I knocked on the door so that's okay. We I do see things like a pencil back there that isn't in its home. And around the edges, um, the common denominator of the floor, you know. But this area over here has been kept organized and tidy. And that in itself is an awesome thing because I did not expect that to stay the way that I did it. <laughs> I'm seeing progress. Mama's got our progress goggles on and I am proud of them. As far as the boys' closets, um, this has stayed good. This container right here, these containers have stayed good, the drawers. And this area over here has stayed pretty organized, but the shoes are not organized, which we did. I don't think we stored a lot of the shoes in here in their closet video I did, but this is where we've been keeping the shoes. So that's something we'll definitely have to work on with keeping that floor organized. I know it's hard because there's a lot going on and there's not a lot of structure so I myself would probably struggle in here but the shoes and stuff I would like for them to look a lot nicer than they do but I'm, I'm very happy that this has been kept organized and tidied and stuff because that's a big deal there's a lot of toys in there and if those are not organized we're in trouble because they're going to be everywhere backpack comic books pokemon cards have been kept organized so the main deal in here is the shoes and I can't really blame them for that because the shoes don't really have a home except for in that little vacant area of the closet so much like the floor situation on my part, we also need to worry about making, even if we don't have a home for something and we have to store something somewhere, we need to at least still make it look tidy. It's easier to find the second part of a shoe if they're together, you know what I mean? Bath has been kept clean. I need to get some more shower curtain things. I actually think I have some on the kitchen table. I saw it whenever I was talking to you guys. So I can put new ones up here because we're missing a few up there. The trash does need to be, be getting emptied more frequently but this area is cleared off let's see what in here looks like because i don't know okay this area has been kept pretty pretty tidy toilet has been kept clean the mirror is also looking good as far as the window so the areas that we've progressed in in this room isn't a whole lot because this room was never really bad this isn't one of the rooms that we really really struggled with this one was pre pretty easy to to keep up on except for the trash in this room we did struggle with keeping the trash at bay and keeping it changed and as you can see we're still struggling with that so there's an area we need to work on is keeping that trash out of here it doesn't need to be overflowing like that i'm not even sure if there's a bag in there <laughs> so there needs to be a bag in there and it doesn't need to be overflowing like that it doesn't smell like a giant turd when you walk in here there's not a science experiment going on in the toilet so for that i'm pretty i'm pretty pleased there's not a science experiment going down <laughs> common denominator though floors they need to be worked on you can see here even in here we're struggling with keeping stuff off the floor which i don't expect them to be so clean you can eat off of them but i do i do want them you know if we see something pick it up if i see something i need to be picking it up i don't need to be walking by dog hair or lint or paper towels or anything like that in the floor like if i see it i'm trying to remind myself like go ahead and pick it up don't wait for later don't wait till you're cleaning go ahead and pick it up
elephant in the room, the floors need to be vacuumed. They really need to be vacuumed because these floors, they don't, you can see them whenever I just show you guys from this far away. Usually you have to really look in order to see lint or dog hair or something like that. But you can see the stuff on the floor from here. So that's not good. Also struggling with this area because I use it every single day while everything is being put back except for this. Oh, um, one of the dogs was trying to get this out of the girl's room and I had to save its life. <laughs> but everything could arguably say, be said back there is Easter stuff. So that's being hidden back there. That's why y'all see that stuff crammed back in there. <laughs> but um, as far as like stuff being put back in its home, it is. It's just sloppily placed back in its home. So I need to be better about putting this in here, being more tidy with it, setting things up, you know, not having stuff leaning, not having, having the basket more tidy and organized, but at least the basket's not floating around the house like it used to be. So I'll take it for right now, but it is something I want to work on. Uh, bookcases are getting a little cluttered up again. So that's not good. I definitely need to work on that, which you, if you guys have been here for a while, or if you guys were present during that whole playlist of cleaning that whole series that I did you know that my bedroom is definitely my biggest struggle area I don't expect too much overnight and I am happy I've been making my bed it, it, at, at, by the end of the day it looks a little it looks a little pitiful <laughs> but it is made it used to be just you know thrown I didn't even throw it together like it was just However it looked when I got out of bed is how it stayed throughout the whole day. So I'm happy that it's at least not, it's not amazing and it's not beautiful. It's not magnificent, but it's made. So that's a starting point. That's some progress I'm seeing in here. Also, this isn't being kept completely covered by stuff except for my nighttime pajamas. Um, I keep those there so that I remember to change my clothes like a normal person and not live in the same clothes for like a solid week. I keep it there to remind myself, hey, it's the day to take a shower. Come on, Marina, you can do it. It's the time that you need to change clothes. You don't want to sleep in the pajamas you've been in and you've been working in all day long. Change it to your nighttime pajamas. <laughs> Shane's been keeping his area clean for him. Uh, this is clean. He knows where everything's at. I don't and it looks cluttered to me, but <laughs> he knows where everything's at. So he's been keeping it clean, which he never struggled with keeping this area clean. He's, he's really tidy when it comes to his stuff. So in here, the areas I'm noticing that I need to be working on, the floors for sure throughout my entire house, but definitely in here because I will take you guys closer here in a minute and show you guys what I'm talking about. If you couldn't see it, it's really bad. The homeschooling area, I need to be staying on that while everything is there. I didn't really try on that. Like I could do better. I kind of just did what was expected and put everything back where it's supposed to go, but I didn't make sure that everything was really back where it's supposed to go and everything looked tidy. I just put it in the area in its home. I need to be learning that that's not enough. Like I, I could, I could tidy that up and it gonna kill me to tie that up. It'll take two minutes at most. I need to be working on making sure my bookcases stay clear of things that don't go up there it's a win in itself when my bed is made and my dresser is cleared off I'm I'm happy I'm happy about that you guys know if you've been with me for a while if I did a huge cleaning and declutter video in here not a week later it would be back to how it was the fact that this has been a little over two weeks since I've touched actually a little over three weeks since I touched this specific bedroom I think it's been, it's been a while and it stayed like this and I've been consistently making my bed and consistently making sure that that's cleaned off and stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm very, very happy about that. But you can see here, there's the close up of the floors. I mean, it's obvious. Even the white rugs looking a little sad. You've got stuff over here in the floor. Stuff I, I've, I've seen, I just haven't done anything about. So I really, really, really need to focus on detail. This has stayed the same, that stayed the same, all that stayed the same. The only thing that's changed is our luggage is stored in here because we have nowhere else to store it. But clothes are not all over the floor, clothes are on the hangers where they're supposed to be. We still got our shrink wrapped stuff down here, our shrink wrapped stuff over there, and our extra blankets over here. What seasonal decor wouldn't fit in my bathroom, we have right there and extra cleaning and self-care stuff. And then our luggage things are right there. My fan stays here. So this has been kept up really good. There's not random hangers without anything on them in here. The clothes aren't everywhere. Pretty happy with that. my bathroom so i brought my mirror back in here so it's back in here we have some things that are not where they're supposed to be they're supposed to be up here i've been keeping all my hair stuff up here 
Um, I've been working on my feet because <laughs> I have Rocky Mountain feet. <laughs> So that shouldn't be there. My hairbrush is not supposed to be there, but I've been brushing my hair twice a day to make sure it doesn't get knots because it's already damaged enough and I don't want to lose any more. But it's not so covered that you cannot see the vanity, which that's how it was in the video where I tackled it. At the beginning shot, you could not even see the vanity. So it's been kept clear for the most part. This is my towel from earlier. <clears throat> That doesn't go there, but this area has stayed the same. This is my earring thing. And then right here, I've got all my perfumes. And then here, I've got all of our eye stuff. And then my makeup things, my stationary makeup thing. I call it that. And my to-go makeup thing. That stayed pretty organized. The mirrors have stayed clean. I've been making sure I stay on top of that. But this bathtub has not been staying too clean clean as far as the inside of that but I have some hair over there <laughs> and this is not just been like played in I found out after cleaning it up four or five times that there's a hole in the bottom of it and it just slowly leaks out I was wondering because I was like wait a minute it looked like that whenever I did the video like I remember specifically remember cleaning that stuff up and I checked and it's because there's a crack in the bottom of it and it just slowly leaks out but I could have cleaned that up by now I literally have keep that closed so I don't have to worry about it so Today, I opened it, and I was like, you know, I'm going to keep it open because if I look at that for long enough, it's going to bother me. And sure enough, it's bothering me right now, so I'm going to clean it up and I'll get done with this video. Sometimes you got to push yourself to do, like, little things like that. I just, I had that thing where if it's not big, like I was talking about in the beginning of the video, if it's not big, I feel like I don't need to touch it. But in reality, I do, so it doesn't get bigger. But there's definitely no progress. A little progress, but not much in the bathtub. The floors also need to be worked on in here. But in here has stayed, for the most part, organized. As well as in here, for the most part, it stayed organized. This isn't dirt. This is this is just where it's beat up. I need to work on this bathroom soon. So in this bathroom, we there's all my Christmas decor that I can't wait to get out in a storage just yet. But in this bathroom, we've not seen progress in a few areas. If we've seen it, it's been very little progress. So areas in the bathroom I need to continue to work on. Definitely the bathtub, keeping stuff where it goes. The hair bows is a little thing, but a bunch of little things add up to a big thing. So I really want to be aware of, of stuff like that in areas where I fall like that. So I make sure it's not like an avalanche. I've tried soaking up all of the wisdom in my comments from you guys and all the wisdom I've gained by experience with that series and with this journey. So I know what to watch out for. I know situations I need to be on top of. So when I'm not on top of little ones like that, I get frustrated with myself because I've been in here four times. I got the weakest bladder on the planet. And I got bowel issues, y'all. I've been in here and I just haven't put those hair bows back where they go. So that needs to be something I'm working on. It might seem like a small fault to you guys. It might seem like a no big deal. I'm so terrified of my house ending up like it was beforehand it's not even funny i want to make sure that never happens again so it really is a big deal to me it's it's something i really want to stay on because you guys saw whenever i saw areas where i thought we were struggling but we really didn't and we might even have some progress in when i saw those areas i was so happy and so proud of myself and it makes me less insecure with my homemaking I'm not an insecure person. I can't embarrass myself if I try. In most areas of my life, pretty much all areas of my life, except for homemaking. Homemaking is my insecurity. I feel very insecure in homemaking. I'm very hard on myself when it comes to homemaking. I know I could be better and that's what frustrates me. So when I see areas where we've progressed and we've made really big strides, I get more secure in my homemaking and it helps my confidence in my homemaking and that in turn helps me be a better homemaker in the long run because I've seen all the success I've had. I don't want to mess that up. I don't want to get back into old habits. I'm, I'm adamant on not getting back into old habits. So you guys have talked me hoarse. <laughs> homemaking is something that I'm very insecure in. My homemaking, I'm very insecure in my homemaking. I'm not insecure in my looks. I'm not insecure in my weight. Um, I probably should be, <laughs> but I'm not. Like I said, I can't embarrass myself even if I try. But you guys have probably seen throughout the videos, especially if you've been here for a long time, I do get embarrassed when it comes to my homemaking. That's just somewhere in my life that I'm working on right now. I am using the insecurity, though, as a launch pad to literally launch myself into being confident in my homemaking by being better at homemaking, essentially. I'm learning knowledge. I'm breaking habits. I'm picking up routine I'm working my butt off to be better for my kids and for Shane because I don't have it in me to do it for myself in that department so they're my they're my 
they're my push, they're my go to be better at it. So if you're watching this and you're like, Marini flipped out over a hair bow, yes I did. <laughs> Cause I know I have walked past those hair bows five or six times and I didn't do anything about it. I know I've walked into this room and I've seen this floor several times for the last week and I haven't done anything about it. I am so happy about my wins. I'm so happy that I kept drawers tidy and cabinets organized. That's huge for me. That's really big. I'm happy with how clean it looks when you first walk into my house and it smells good and it just feels good and it feels like our home is a place of solitude when it looks like this. But those areas, if I'm not careful, the areas in the floor, those can quickly become bigger issues. And I know that because I've seen it happen because it's happened to me in the past. So you're darn too, and I'm going to be very aware of everything. <laughs> I don't feel like that's being hard on myself. I feel like that's taking accountability. And that's one thing about me is um, I, you can call me a lot of things, but I will take accountability for what I do and what I don't do. And that may be due to the fact that I'm hard on myself. It may not be. It may just be a good quality. I don't know. <laughs> but I also show myself grace because I'm not only aware of the areas I struggle in, I'm aware of the areas I've seen progress in. So there's balance there. It's not me beating up myself over and over and over, over lint in the floor. <laughs> I see my progress. I'm aware of my progress and I'm proud of my progress and my family's progress. I will be doing update videos on this series. Like I said, the series changed my life. It really did. My house is so relaxing. My family, I've noticed, like they come in the living room and they just relax. They don't have, they don't feel like they have to run from the stuff. It's, it's, it's set in a routine in my life that I've never had before. I feel like I have a grip on my homemaking now and I've never felt like that before. Even though so many times I've done declutters, so many times I've done cleaning videos and clean with me is not cleaned off camera and I've done whole house cleaning videos whole house clean with me is whole house cleaning sessions I've never really felt like I had a grip on my homemaking until now if you've been thinking about doing the daggone thing tackling your house from one end to the other don't put a time limit on it go at your own pace tackle one thing at a time if you have to but do it if you feel like you need to tackle your house from one end to the other do it don't postpone it don't procrastinate do it just start somewhere the beginning of that series i looked you guys dead in the camera lens and i said i don't know where to start so i'm just going to start somewhere that moment catapulted me into just starting somewhere and that starting somewhere ended up ending everywhere <laughs> like I, I i got it all done just by starting somewhere because I had prolonged starting for so long because I didn't know where to start. Everything was a mess. My laundry was out of control. My laundry was terrible. I was drowning in clothes. I was drowning in stuff. I felt like, man, I've lost control completely. What little control I had on the situation, I lost it completely. So just starting somewhere, just starting at the table and be like, okay, gotta clear this part off. And then slowly doing my rotate thing around the entire room. I do my orbiting method. Slowly doing my orbiting method, I'd get one area done. And I'd see the progress and I'd be like, snap. And it would motivate me to get another area done. And I'd see that progress and I'd be like, well, I can't stop now. I'd get another area done. And it would get, and I would be tired. And I was over it by the end of <laughs> the series. But, but just starting somewhere got me somewhere. So if you're thinking about it, you have literally so many people in these comments say, Marina, yeah, I'm thinking about it. Um, but I need some, I need some encouragement. There are 85,000 of us. Most of these ladies, they are empty nesters. They know what they're talking about. They have wisdom that you can only obtain by experience. They will gladly give it to you. They will give you tips. They will give you whatever you need. These women know what they're talking about. I have mamas on here that are my age that know just as much as an empty nester almost. So there are people on here that will root for you and that will help you in whatever you need. And if I can help at all, I will in whatever you need. I don't know if I can give anybody any wisdom, but if I can, I will absolutely will try my hardest no question is a stupid question and i really mean it on this channel so if you ask me a question and i don't know the answer we'll find it out together these people on here aren't just my friends they're your friends too they will have your back i've seen it time and time again in the comments these people care about people not just me they they love people they're people that love people so as much as they root for me they'll root for you i know that to be a fact i have that much trust in y'all i know it to be a fact i don't say it lightly when i say i have easily the best community on this platform and I mean it wholeheartedly these people are good people to their core thank y'all for hanging out with me I hope y'all have a blessed morning even not whatever it is wherever you're at know that I love you but 
Jesus loves you more. He really does. I mean, I mean it. Like, he loves you more. He loves you so much that, did you know, he literally died on the cross for you. Died on the cross for you. That even if you were the only person on the planet he needed to die for, he would have still done it. He would have died for you and you alone. He died on the cross. They put him in a tomb. He rose out of the tomb. He's no longer in the tomb. He is right now sitting at the side of the Father making intercession for you and I. So that whenever we mess up, whenever we fall short, whenever we, as I call it, make fudge ups, <laughs> he's there to make intercession for us and say, I know that they're messing up, but they are mine. I know that they did that, but they are mine. He's up there saying, I know Marina's got this. <laughs> I know she's got this. All right, love you guys. I'll see y'all later.